Republicans say that one person should not have unchecked power to control the state during an emergency, such as the pandemic. Democrats, on the other hand, say that Republicans are trying to insert politics into a public health crisis. The latest Republican effort to rein in the governor's power comes after a year of executive orders closing businesses and schools during the pandemic. It's about transparency and it's about accountability. Alamance County Republican Amy Gailey co-sponsored the Senate bill which requires the governor to get support from the Council of State for any statewide emergency order lasting more than 30 days. Do you think the governor has not done a good job handling the pandemic? I think the governor has done the best that he could many times under very difficult situations. I think that we have to agree that not everything has been perfect. We've managed this crisis in a way that has almost, you know, better than anybody else in the Southeast, as far as I can tell. And, um, you know, one of the best of the countries. Guilford County Democrat Pricey Harrison says forcing the governor to convene the 10 member council of state during an emergency is misguided at best. She questions the politics behind it. Republicans hold a majority of the seats on the Council of State. Do you see this then as a power grab? Are the Republicans wanting to get more control from the governor? I, that's, I, I don't see how you could see it any other way. Republicans have challenged the governor's emergency powers several times this past year. Former yeah. Lieutenant Governor Dan Forrest challenged the governor in court and lost. State Treasurer Dale Falwell repeatedly called on the governor to be more transparent and work with the Council of State before issuing executive orders that affect the state's economy. Governor Cooper's office released this statement in response to the latest Republican effort to limit his power. Quote, the governor will review the bill but is concerned about legislation that could make it difficult to quickly and effectively respond in an emergency. Our governor likes to uh, make comments in media about how he craves bipartisanship and how he craves reaching across the aisle. And this gives him an excellent opportunity to demonstrate that. Republicans have the votes to pass this legislation, but they need several Democrats to defect if they hope to override a governor's veto. In Greensboro, I'm Bill O'Neill, WXII 12 News.